Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Single Over Servitude. I am your host, Jeremy Stone, and today we have an article, Chivalry Has No Place in the Dating Scene in 2021. Yes, gentlemen, do not treat your lady like a lady. Treat her like a man. She can pay her own bills. She can open up her own door. Don't pick her up for that date. You meet me at that restaurant. So let's see what this uh, article goes on to say. People, can I ask you a favor? Can you stop uh, taking dating tips from the outdated male, female, gender normative, uh, normative and the backwards accepted behavior created and enticed to continue the fallacy that women are beneath men, that women are incapable of surviving or making decisions on their own, that they're to be treated either like dirt or fragile porcelain. So let me get this straight. If I take a woman on a date, that means that she's beneath me. How about I like her and I want to enjoy her company and hopefully she enjoys mine as well. Hopefully I make her laugh. How about that? Not everything's a power trip. Not everything's a struggle for dominance. This is 2021. The dating scene has changed. Heck, it's not even uh, just men slash women anymore. And yet it looks... Um, it looks like some people are still on the oh so keen on taking their date, uh, dating advice from this should it be defunct dating rule book on chivalry. Regardless of whether you identify as a man or a woman dating another man or a woman or non-binary, please don't you think it's time to take this whole chivalry thing out of the dating equation? It's just not needed. There are some things you should give up on. Yes, uh, guys, I guess uh, give up on dating, uh, give up on treating your lady like a lady. So don't do anything nice for your uh, partner anymore. Just treat them like a robot because they're non binary or whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. Do not hold, uh, do not hold the car door. Say you're driving and your date is about to hop on to the shotgun seat. Unless your date is physically incapable of opening their own side of the car door, please trust them to know how uh, to know how to close open and close that thing. There are plenty of ways to show you care. Opening the door ain't one of them. Well, I mean, I'll open the door if they got like their hands full of stuff. You know, perhaps they have like a doggy bag of you know food, or maybe they have flowers or some kind of crap like that, but. Now, if, if it's from the inside, maybe I'll like reach over, unlock and kind of like push it. But yeah, I've never, I've never opened up the door. Now, maybe she has a broken arm. Then I can open up the door. I mean, seriously, guys, do you think opening a car door for a woman was ever a show of respect? This chivalrous gesture was a power move. Men drove cars, women didn't. I mean, they did, but not in the presence of men on a date, lest that hurt their ego. Similarly, men, I'm sorry, similarly, do not open the restaurant door for them either. So let's say she wants to be treated chivalrously, and you're saying, you're reading this argument going, nah, this is not what women want. So what, when you both come to the door, you're just going to wait there and go, uh, you you got it, me got it, uh, who, who, who's who got it? Do you kind of just like, do you just like open it up at the same time and pull it together? My goodness, this this uh the writer, the art author, this article just sounds so mean. Uh, okay. So now that you're out of the car and you're headed to the restaurant, do you not uh do not run ahead of your partner so that you can open up the door for them? They're perfectly capable of doing it themselves. Thank you very much. So what if you have two people who both read this article? Well, you're capable of doing it. Well, you're capable of doing it. So, what? You just eat outside? No one opens up the door? Maybe, may, hey, maybe you just go to the drive-thru. I would have taken you to this nice restaurant, but I can't open up a door, so um, Burger King it is. Have it your way. But if you happen to be in front of them anyways, then yes, do open up the door and hold it for them because it is the right thing to do. But I thought you just said don't run ahead. So if you're walking side by side, then no one's going to be in front. Letting the door slam shut on someone's face is just rude. In fact, 
do it for not just your date, but for anyone who happens to be in close proximity again, because that's the polite thing to do. Mm, sometimes I'll open the door and I'll just swing it, but I'm not like running ahead, opening the door and going, hold on, hold on. Or I don't open the door and just hold it open. I'll, I'll swing it. If you catch it behind me, you catch it. But nah, screw, screw this. I, I am done going out of my way to help strangers. Following a trend, do not pull out the uh, do not pull out the chair. Oh my God, how many times do I have to say it? Your date, unless physically incapable, will pull out their own chair. Thank you very much. Spend the energy on something meaningful. Pulling the chair never stopped the man usually from abusing the, um, sorry, misusing, I'll, I'll skip over that word, from misusing the woman usually in their private lives. So if by her logic, if I pull out the chair, that means I get to be inappropriate behind closed doors. That makes no sense. What message are you sending to the world or your partner by pulling their chair out for them? If anything, every time I see a man make that power move, because trust me, it is. Even if you're not aware of it, it makes my blood boil. Ooh, she is mad. She is mad, 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 mad. Chivalry is often a... Uh, Deceitful anyway, so why still insist on uh, practicing it? Do not order for your partner. Okay, that was never chivalry. It's just obnoxious. But I had to add it into this list in case some numbskull out there thought it would be, thought it was anything but. And unfortunately, contrary to popular belief, BS like this still happens. It happened to me not that long ago. Okay, it was pre-pandemic, but that was a long time ago, right? Even though it feels like it was. Okay, I'll agree with this. Because, you know, you don't want to order, let's say, fish for your partner. And perhaps they have a shellfish allergy or they just don't like the taste of fish. Or it's, oh, I'll have the steak and, you know, she'll have a salad. And she's going to think like, oh, he must think that I'm fat. So I'll, I'll agree with that. You know, they're an adult. They, I mean, unless you're ordering for like a child, that's the only time you should order for someone. Otherwise, everyone can just order their own thing. Does anyone really think uh, they'd score a second date after assuming you know your date's choice of drink on the very first date? Well, maybe. Shows that you care. Shows that you pay attention. Shows whatever they say is not just in one ear and out the other. Without bothering to ask them ahead of time, is it written on my face that I prefer hot chocolate? We were at a coffee shop over black coffee. Hmm. This nonsensical uh, brazenness of this particular power move is just so sickeningly dumb. Split the check. I never understood why the man has to pay on the first date with women. It's like screaming out loud, I'm better than you. You couldn't possibly be making more money than me. I do, woman. Oh boy, you're upset, aren't you? I'll agree with this. You know, hey, women can make just as much, if not more money than men. So, and yet I'm still expected to pay. Mm -mm -mm. This isn't 1951. This is 2021. We have equality, equal rights, and equal punishment. So, Split the bill or you pay for you and I pay for me, but no, I'm not about this. I got to, I got to pay for everything. Cause I'm the man. Screw that nonsense. However, kill the tradition, please. From the start, most dates these days and at that very first one, imagine, imagine one person having to foot the bill on all of these. Nah, just split it. Will you? If the first date goes into a second and a third date, then, and then a fourth and so on, you can consider yourself together then and only then considering paying for the other person. If both parties are financially stable, then you may even decide to alter between who, play, who pays the bill. Now, doesn't that sound fair? Hmm. Also, check this out. The next time you go, you get in a fight, rest assured they won't be able to go to their friends and say, I even paid the bill for that bitch every single time. Well, let me read that. Reread that. Also, check this out. The next time you get in a fight, rest assured, they won't be able to say to their friends every time and say, even I paid the bill for that 
Biatch. Oh, I guess I mean like a screaming match. I thought there was like talking about fighting over a girl. Unless a chick is your wife, no woman is worth fighting over. Uh, be fair and equal in a relationship, guys. That's all I'm saying. We cannot demand equality and equity when we, and by we, I mean mostly women, also want to be treated differently, even when it's something as trivial. But is it, though, a dating etiquette? Now, I'll agree with that last part because it's, it seems like a lot of women want equality, but it, they only want equality when it benefits them. It's like, you know, it's like if a woman says, oh, I'm for equality. Oh, really? So when you go into the bar or the club and you don't have to pay admission price, do you stop the bouncer at the door and go, I appreciate the offer, but for the sake of equality, I demand that you charge me the exact same admission fee that you would charge a man? Or do you go, hey, I'm a woman. I got in for free. The you only... You have no problem participating in the double standards that benefit you. And as soon as the double standards don't benefit you, you, uh, you complain for equality. And this article was written by Malia. I don't know. So she's not for chivalry. She says, hey, guys, don't treat your woman special. Treat them equal. So if you're ever on a date and your woman says, why didn't you open the door? Point them to this article. This is Jeremy Stone. I will catch you guys next time.